how um, how uh, the geography and, uh, and after that the, the Metro North Railroad tracks have really dictated um, how these neighborhoods are so different. Um, Civitas has has worked, as I mentioned, in both communities since the 1980s and really tried to um, bridge that gap um, between the Upper East Side and East Harlem because in many ways they are very different neighborhoods and uh, that's been very core to our mission. And you can kind of start to see here why they, they are in fact very different neighborhoods. Um, much of East Harlem is at a lower elevation. It actually has a, a different substructure. Um, uh, I think it's more of a sandstone um, geology whereas uh, um, uh, Carnegie Hill is a, is a harder rock, so it's, it's dictated what, what can be built on, uh, in, in those neighborhoods. And so, um, consequently, because of the railroad tracks, what really serves to me, what I think is a unifier on Park Avenue south of 97th Street, where we're standing, uh, this lovely park, is kind of a divider in East Harlem, because we have elevated railroad tracks that create kind of a visual and kind of a uh, mental barrier between the two sides of a neighborhood, a very thriving neighborhood. And that's kind of led to other decisions um, taking place uh, afterwards. So as you look up East Harlem, you can really see that there's a different type of development um, that's taken place. There's a lot of New York City Housing Authority housing uh, that has been constructed in the mid-20th century, uh, uh, lining the Metro North Railroad tracks. And, and so that development took a very different form, um, kind of reflecting its time. So the tower in the park type of development um, uh, was very popular at that time, whereas in these more kind of 19th century uh, blocks that we're looking at right now, um, buildings were built at the street wall. Um, in the mid-20th century, there was a real emphasis on creating green space in this very dense city that we live in. And, and so um, the, the parkland, grass uh, surrounding the nature properties really provides a lot of green space uh, for these communities. And so, um, so it will be interesting to see as uh, the NYCHA housing, the, the NYCHA buildings kind of reach midlife, uh, many of them are, are 50 or more years old right now, how those sites may or may not be developed in different ways. Um, so what's, what kind of the new priorities um, are that, that are seen in development. So um, just another building I'll point out here and then we'll walk another block. You really can't see it very well, but um, there's a large um, kind of buff colored brick structure beyond this tenement that we're looking at which is the Icon Pavilion at uh, Mount Sinai uh, Medical Center at a major hospital. And uh, when that building was being planned, um, the, the designers and uh, the hospital met with Civitas uh, basically to get our input. And so um, what we encouraged them to do is um, incorporate retail into the first level to kind of maintain that retail character of Madison Avenue. And it's interesting that they, um, there, I think there's a, a bookstore, a, a hospital bookstore at that level um, uh, in the Icon Pavilion, but uh, it's not really, I don't think it's accessible to the street. So in other words, it kind of followed the, the letter of the law, but not really the spirit of this kind of permeability that we were encouraging the, the retail character of Mount Sinai. And it's also worth noting that that building is significantly larger than many others that we see around here. And that building is what's considered a community facility. And community facilities in New York, that's a, a specific term, uh, which includes nonprofit organizations, religious institutions, etc. Uh, community facilities get a, a, a larger zoning bonus, so they can build, build uh, larger buildings to accommodate their community needs. And so often what you'll see in New York is uh, a mixed-use building where there's a community facility at the base and then um, apartments on upper levels. And so uh, we'll actually see an example of that in a few minutes. So um, I think with this, we'll walk another we block do, north. We'll yes. In, uh